Ahem. Oh, hi there. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to what'll probably be the final Diamond and Pearl stream. We just have Victory Road and the Elite Four itself. And then that post game that I'm going to probably ignore. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the stream, everybody. If you're watching on YouTube, I bid you welcome. And, uh, yeah, let's hop to it. Um, crazy that my playtime for this game is only 32 hours, by the way. Like, that's actually nuts to me. Because I'm, I, I just cracked 100 hours in Legends RCS. Legends Arceus was by far the better investment. Hello, Alex. Hello, Argo. Alright, I remember, um, Victory Road being a pain in the butt. Like, I remember 4th Gen's Victory Road probably being the biggest pain in the butt of all of them. Man, I only have 15 of these left. You guys think that's enough to get through? Probably not. <laughs> I don't I don't trust it. Time zones. You could tell I've played too much Arceus because I keep pressing up. Um Okay. <laughs> the muscle memory is strong. Uh, we'll get here. Time zones are stupid. I don't know what became of it, but supposedly... Did they actually pass it? Because I know there was like some law or uh, bill they were trying to pass to make... Uh, Daylight savings time permanent. And I, like, I was under the impression it passed, but then someone told me, like, it was just in the Senate that it passed, and it still has to go through wherever. But, God, I, I would be so happy if uh, daylight savings time was done away with. Alright. I, I am absolutely going nuts over the Joy-Con drift. I guess I'm just going to have to either send them to Nintendo to fix them or just buy a new one. Whatever feels like less of a headache. Probably buying a new one would be less of a headache. That sounds pretty political. I know, how dare I talk politics here. Oh, my last repel's still in effect. Ha! Not anymore. Yeah. Who would have thought that something like daylight savings time could be political? <laughs> All right, do you guys think I'm strong enough to take on Cynthia? My Garchomp is basically dead weight. I feel like... I feel like I should have just used Dialga or something. <laughs> Government doing something useful for people. I know, right? When do they ever do that? I missed it. What did he just use there? That move looked pretty, pretty ridiculous. I mean, the whole farming thing seems like a silly thing to begin with anyways. It's like, if you want to 
like operate on a slightly different time. I, I don't think the world is going to be upset if you adjust your schedule. I, like, adjust your hours. I guess it would be a pain in the butt for customers, but you're just like, alright, tell your customers we're gonna be operating an hour earlier or later at during these months. It's not like businesses don't change their hours from time to time. So there's no reason farmers can't change their hours. Some iso... purple. <laughs> and a Q-tip shoving around the joystick seems to temporarily fix it. I just think, like... I love Nintendo. The same way I love democracy. But... This is like an unacceptable issue. Like, I think the L buttons being fickle was one thing. But this is like a whole nother level. Like, at least with the L button, there was a lot of games that just didn't use it. <laughs> that made you snort, what, the democracy comment? <laughs> I love democracy. Says the the man who looks evil, deformed, and like an evil dictator. <laughs> Everyone says the Elite Four is brutal, but you still found them to be easy. I mean, I feel like I'm really over leveled. The only problem that I have is I'm basically down a Pokemon right now. Because Scarchomp is not really on the same level as everybody else. I mean, even if controllers... I've never had a controller drift on me. Like, I have a... Like, a Logitech joypad that I've used for computer gaming since literally, like... Probably 2005. <laughs> and it still works just fine. Wow, what a great use of your move. Oh no, it's water moves are stronger right now. Oh no! So how's everyone doing today? How's everyone's week been? It's been a long week. So, just a few uh, newsy type stuff and things. I don't really have a ton this week. This has been a quieter week. I've been focusing on other areas of the world. But um, this is obviously the last um, BDSP stream. We're going to beat the Elite Four, call it a day. And then, um, season one will be the next thing on the horizon. Now, the start date is still to be determined. I am shooting currently for April 8th, but there's a chance that I might delay it one week uh, based on how things are going. Um, I will not be here next weekend. So there will be no streams next weekend. There, there will be one class stream Sunday night, because I'll be home by Sunday night. Uh, me and Haley are going on our first date in quite some time, thanks to the me almost dying thing. So that'll occupy my team time next week. And then um, I'm hoping... Fingers crossed, I'd like to put together a trailer for Season 1. I have it all planned out in my head, but making it is an entirely different matter. Um, if, if it doesn't come to fruition, then we'll just jump straight into the season. But I would like to do it like a just a short two minute trailer to advertise it. Let everyone know what's going on in the season, hype it up. And we'll go from there. Um, the first episode of the main project will be YouTube exclusive. 
So it'll be uploaded to YouTube and it'll only be shown on YouTube and it'll be on Friday. I'll probably upload it around noon. I don't know what time I'm gonna make my standard upload time, but I'm kind of thinking noon right now. And then, um... That night, I'll stream... stream record it. And, uh... We'll, we're gonna do five episodes in quotation marks a week. The episodes are gonna be a lot shorter than these BDSP streams, like I've been uploading these in our segments. I'm gonna be treating uh, the the upcoming project kind of along the lines of like an old school Let's Play. Um, do I have any fighting moves on my squad? I keep thinking about my um, Legends Arceus team, like. My Lilligant has Drain Punch, obviously. But it's like we don't have any physical moves here. Trying not to drown in uni homework. Yeah! Spring Break just started for you? Yeah, it just started for Haley, too. We were supposed to actually travel this weekend, but... The place we wanted to go, the hotels were all booked up, so... <laughs> we put it off to next week. Cut a rush out the third what happened the Super Skarmory video soon. I know I've mentioned this before, but I'm thinking if the first two seasons go well, then maybe I'll finally upload a video to Super Skarmory explaining why I disappeared off the face of the earth. But I want to, like, prove to myself that there's actually hope for... Like, I'm actually truly able to do what I want to do. And right now, I don't know how. Like, I don't know how well everything will go. So, we'll have to see. This place is pretty confusing. Well, the other nice thing about, um... If we do, um... If I do it at the Season 3 mark... Is... It'll be right around the time for my YouTube anniversary. And right now I'm planning season three to be the Pokemon season. So it'll be a good time to all in on... ...exciting people, so to speak. Ugh, oh, God. I don't understand how bike controls have become so abysmally awful in this game. But somehow, they managed to do it. <laughs> I'm really excited for Season 1. Um, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. It might go really terribly. And then I might just say, screw it, and then <laughs> I just give up on my dreams of ever doing anything YouTube-ish. But I think, uh, I think it should go well. I also mentioned this last week, this is like a completely independent topic. But I was thinking, um, there's a lot of weeknights where I'm just, like, chilling and relaxing and playing a game after work. And I was thinking, like, maybe I could, like, just start using the subscriber channel on Discord for, like, voice. To, like, stream whatever random nonsense I'm playing. And it'd be a good way to give perks for subscribers.
They'd be like very, like they wouldn't even be, I, I don't even think it would be fair to call those like streams, they'd just be like, chill with Ian. Like I wouldn't even guarantee commentary on such a thing. Uh, Kibble's Skibble is catching up there on the EXP front. Maybe it won't be totally useless. I actually couldn't remember what level it evolved at, so this is actually a legitimate surprise. Her charm just seemed cooler in 2D. I feel like 3D didn't really do Garchomp very well. I know there was a discussion on Discord the other day on uh, Garchomp versus uh, Salamence. Personally, I've always preferred Salamence, but I like Garchomp a lot. Um, Joy-Con drift on me. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, I, I see it. Another pseudo that isn't dragon type. Yeah, the last one was what? Metagross? Or was has there been one since then? Metagross was awesome. Clefable. I'm trying to remember. I feel like... No, I, I was able to find uh, Iggly buff and uh, Arceus. That was one of the ones that I was like, where do you find it? I guess they're either just not always guaranteed to spawn around the Clefable area, or I just was like really unlucky or something. Hey JT, welcome to the stream. Tyranitar and Metagross are the only ones. The funny thing about that is Tyranitar almost is like dragonish in itself. Did I miss? I miss. I always miss. I have- uh, can someone explain to me why I miss 100% accuracy moves in Legends Arceus? It drives me nuts and I don't understand why that's a thing. You love the Discord overhaul, the Kek emote. I mean, I'm fine adding emotes. I I, I don't know exactly how I want to approach the overall. Well, like I'm a, like I don't know how I want to approach emotes overall on the Discord server. I'd like to add a lot of Chrono Trigger emotes just because they're easy to make and. They seem appropriate for the server. But I mean, I'm open to bringing in, like, literally anything. I was even thinking of doing something like adding a couple of emotes for each major project we do. But I don't know how that would look or go. Or just, like, have some evergreen emotes and then have some that rotate out based on the season. But I'm- that's, like, probably putting in more effort than- than is necessary.
Yeah, I know it's not an original emote. I'm familiar with the Keck emote. There's a lot of different approaches I could take on that. Just don't know which one I want to actually go with. Currently, I think as long as you are subscribed or you reach pink new, you could actually use external emotes. I remember there was someone who complained that I put that behind like a paywall slash exp wall, but... I mean, how much do people even really emote on Discord anyway? It seems like everyone just posts gifs instead. Speaking of which, I heard that the guy who made the GIF passed away. F's in chat for the GIF guy. Ian, it's GIF! No, it's GIF! That was what the man wanted, dammit! This is, uh, very unfortunate. We- we need to make a tactical substitution here. <laughs> to literally any other Pokémon. Calling it a G-I-F in his honor. I don't want to, like, spark the debate too heavily, but I usually, like, I really hate when people are like, you don't pronounce the letter G like J, and I'm like, the letter G is literally pronounced with a J. <laughs> G. G. <laughs> like, there's a J sound in the, the name G. Also, I have a personal example that's near and dear to me, where the G is pronounced J. So... <laughs> I just- I, I hate that argument. I think it's a very poor argument. Like, come on, people. It's the English language. The English language is... screwy as all can be. What are rules? Yeah, like, there's no, like, there's no consi- there's very few consistent rules in English. Yeah, I was just talking about GIF. But according, uh, properly speaking, according to the creator, it's pronounced Jeff. But the internet is like an echo chamber, and I feel like the dominant be opinion became GIF, and then, like, all the GIF, like, the GIF crowd just, like, gaslit the GIF crowd into believing it's, it's GIF. Because I've really come to learn that once an opinion becomes the dominant opinion on the internet, it's really hard to override it. But I will firmly stand in Camp Jeff.
sounds like a cleaning spray. Or you mean GIF? By the rules of English, it should be a hard G, but by the way the acronym is constructed, it should have been the J sound. Seems fair. It's, it's now considered blasphemy to say anything negative about Gen 5, so I guess it's possible to change dominant opinions. That is true! The, the dominant opinion on Gen 5 has changed, but it's been a, over a long period of time, and I think part of the, the thing about it is the demographic that played it changed. Also, there's an old uh, quote that I got from a YouTuber like forever ago, like we're talking back in like early Super Skarmory days, and for some reason it always stuck with me. Bad is great compared to worse. So, I think after 6th, 7th, and 8th gen, everyone was like, Ooh, 5th gen! Because <laughs> 5th gen was the last game that resembled classic Pokemon. So, it's kind of natural that people now look upon it more fondly over time. I think it's fair to accept both as correct. I wonder if that's the way forward. Hello, Greek God Gaming. Dragon Pulse. <laughs> uh, for the YouTube folk, Alex spelled Greek God Gaming with. J J uh, J R E E K J O D gaming. <laughs> that's funny. Maybe that's the way forward. What is the way forward? I need answers. I'm officially GT. <laughs> Am I gonna catch Shaman? Uh, no. Isn't that one of the Pokemon that you just get handed to you? I can't remember. I'm playing up to Cynthia and the credit roll, and then I'm done streaming the game. I'll probably continue to play it a little bit off stream, but... I want to move on to new projects. And honestly, the only reason I'm still playing this is because I came... Like, I made it far enough that it seems silly not to finish it. But personally, I don't think this game is even worth the time. I think if I really wanted to do, like, a proper 4th gen streaming project, I should just replay Platinum. And since I already have done a Platinum project, that seems silly, too. Honestly, like, looking back on my YouTube history, the projects that I enjoyed doing the least were usually the ones that were basically rehashes of something I'd already done. So, like, Platinum, Explorers of Sky... Like, those projects felt like a chore to finish out. Because I was basically doing something that I'd already done. There's an event that ends on Sunday? Oh. Hey, Realmaster, send me a message on Discord mentioning that there's a Shaman event that I need to do. So that I remember to do that.
you saw a colorless chibi model of the dragon tamer and unironically thought they added a lance cameo, that would have been cool. Why do they have to make these things timed? Good question. It's part of the reason that I can't really take Pokemon too seriously anymore. Like, on one hand, I want to, like, have, like, a collection, but on the other hand, it's like... Does the collection even have, like, any real value? Or rather, am I capable of keeping a collection that has any value? And the answer to that question is no. Is this the right way forward? Kind of feels like I'm going the right way. Curse going the right way. I probably- I was probably actually going the wrong way, and now I'm gonna go the right way. And now I'm just gonna be sad. That was the right way? Okay, good. Hey, squid. Good day, sir. One month when you were a kid would have seemed like a reasonable time frame, now not at all. Yeah, I can relate. I mean, it's one of the other reasons that I, like, I have to be very realistic about what I'm capable of doing in a single season. Because between IRL obligations, it's, like, very easy to just completely lose track of time. Like, this week flew by, and I didn't even, like, have fun or do anything enjoyable. Let alone if I was actually doing things that were fun and enjoyable. And this weekend's probably going to fly by too, and the only thing I'm planning on doing this weekend is taxes. You have to deliberately schedule fun things so that you don't lose your mind. Yeah, I can relate to that. Ow. That's uh, a bit unfortunate. I can't believe I couldn't one-shot anything. Green and orange is such a weird color scheme. Yeah, if you, uh, if you college kids think time is moving fast now, just give it another couple of years. It gets worse. That's why, in a way, I almost feel like my YouTube dream had an expiration date on it anyways. I mean, obviously there's adults who do the YouTube thing. But I kind of sometimes question how many of them actually enjoy what they're doing. Like, maybe it's just me, but... Like, like, you can tell there's people who are very passionate about the content they make, but specifically the YouTube aspect of it, it doesn't feel like many people actually derive a whole lot of enjoyment from it.
You hate this thing called being an adult time guy who's goes by too fast and you don't have energy to do anything? Yeah, that's my other problem. Well, that's definitely my biggest problem, is like... I have things I want to do, but by the time I do all the obligations that I have to do, I'm too burned out to like... Like, I just want to sit back and like, turn my brain off. Like, I don't even want a hardcore game anymore. Like, I just want a, like, casual game. I finally understand, now that I'm getting older, like, I finally understand casual gaming. This is probably the last stream for 14 days. Yeah, it's definitely... Definitely the last stream probably for the next two weeks. Unless I, like, end up doing a bonus stream this weekend. Like, there's always a tiny chance that I boot up stream and just play something for fun. Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of YouTubers out there who... I mean, it's like a TV show, right? Like, usually there's a pretty exciting vision that's there. But in order to keep the show running... the Like, you have to keep investing energy. Like, more and more energy to keeping things going in a way that works. I'm confused. Why is Spark and Volt Switch not very effective against Tentacruel? I wasn't paying attention to what moves it used. Natural. Pipe swap. Ah, yeah, that would do it. Also, hey, Lightning. I don't think Zeon can join tonight. Um, for after hours, but if you wanted to hang out after, I'm probably gonna play a little Legends Arceus. But in regards to the YouTube conversation, I think, um, it just. YouTube, it's. Like, the problem is YouTube itself, right? Like,. It used to be a very fun and creative place, and now it's just all corporate. So in order to be successful on YouTube, you have to be corporate too. And that's not fun. I don't know if Ice, um, Ice Fang can one-shot. So I think it probably makes sense to just swap here. Because Smackdown plus Poison probably kills me. You see sponsors for Nord Raid, etc. multiple times a day. Yep. Yeah, the battle of the corporations on YouTube has definitely been lost. I would agree with that. Huh. I mean, it's just like a, a competition thing in general. Right? Like, if you want to succeed, like, like, even if YouTube were to magically disappear and get replaced by a less corporate organization, nowadays, the suppliers of content, the, the average Joe creator, is now advanced enough that 
we've almost made ourselves corporate, and in order to succeed, you have to out-corporate the other corporate people. So, like, even if YouTube disappeared overnight, I, I still think you'd have to go with a very corporate mindset in order to be successful as a creator. That's why, like, nowadays, I really just do this for fun. It's pure hobby. I have no desire to, like, go hardcore at it because I just want to have fun. I don't want to... I don't want to, like... Like, I don't care if I become some super successful person. Because it doesn't mean anything. You have to sell your soul in order to do it. And then there's no... There's no joy in that. There's no joy in selling my soul. This seems like the way forward. <laughs> that seems like the exit. Might as well have one job and one free time instead. Yeah. I mean, I could turn YouTube into a job, but again, then it'd just be a, a corporate thing, you know? I'd have to sell out, I'd have to do sponsorships for Raid Shadow Legends, etc, etc. That's not fun. Like, I kind of like the system that I have. I think it keeps a, a hobby. Like, I, I think it keeps the, the stream slash YouTube thing as a hobby, like, pretty well. Or, like, I think it, it maintains that well. Like, I basically do one stream a week. I create some content out of it. I invest maybe five to ten hours a week into it. It's a fun hobby, some people enjoy my content, and then they go about their business. It's kind of like where I'm at strategy-wise. You know, I said this earlier, I still don't know why I haven't taught Surf to Aqua Armor. <laughs> and I think I should probably do that. It'd be great if we could survive off four-day work weeks. Yeah, if I had a four-day work week, I could definitely... I, I could see myself having enough time to do... Like, that would probably be enough of a difference maker that I could do YouTube. I'd be more confident in my ability to do it. Because, as it stands right now, I need at least one day of downtime. Right now, my weekends, I feel like I, I almost need them to just relax and take care of life obligations. So, I could really only dedicate X amount of time to it. And, and I told myself the number one thing if I got back into content creation in any way, shape, and form was that I wasn't going to sacrifice my own mental health for it. Like, I, I am highly committed to not just killing myself mentally. I want this to be fun for me, and I want it to be something I'm excited to do. And if those things are not true, then... I cut back or do whatever I have to do to make that not true anymore. The commutes there are considered normal over there baffle you. Yeah, right now I burn about an hour a day on commuting, and that's like if traffic's good. 
if traffic's bad, then I dedicate a little bit more. Honestly, that's the part that's killing me right now. Because I could legitimately do most of my job from home. So... It kind of annoys me that I'm, like, wasting time and a lot of gas each week to go to an office. Like, I could probably do two days a week at the office and it wouldn't impact my ability to do my job at all. I would actually argue it would make me more effective because then I wouldn't be bogged down by conversation with other people. Like, I burn so much time right now talking to my co-workers. <laughs> Whereas if I was working at home, I wouldn't be burning that time. Yeah, I wish I could have a close uh, job closer to home, but... Um, I was kind of in a place where I had to sort of take what I could get. <laughs> and... That was the job that came my way. It was a good paying job, so it was like, well, I, it is what it is. And my employers have been incredibly generous and, like, very flexible. Like, I love everything about my job except the commute. So I can't, I can't really complain as it stands right now. So, like, I don't want to just, like, look for another job and pack my bags after everything has been so smooth. My employers paid me the entire month I was out with, uh, COVID. Like, I, like, I don't even know what to say about that act of generosity. And I wasn't even, like, I wasn't even employed for 90 days and they did that for me. So... <laughs> this version of the Pokemon League theme makes you emotional. Well, the music was probably the best thing about BDSP. I'll give it that. All right. This is a good place to take a break, guys, for the YouTube audience. I'm going to leave a marker for you, Argo. Um, and I'm going to...